Pam Matambonanzo and Vincentians with the conference at St. Mary of the Lake Catholic Church in Chicago assemble bags of food and water to go with backpacks of personal care items. This financial advisor is grateful she has the opportunity to live her Vincentian charism to seek and find the homeless on the streets of the Windy City. The St. Vincent de Paul Society is the oldest uh, charitable organization within Chicago. Um, so we've been working with the poor and the homeless for a long time. So we do, we are aware of the things that they need and where they can go. After the Chicago Council opened its Pope Francis Center, the Vincentians needed a way to introduce their services to the homeless and suffering in the area. When you move a little bit more into the city, it's, you know, we use the term desert, where de food deserts, but we, we have a desert area where social services are concerned. The backpacks became a way to open a dialogue between Vincentians and the people they serve. The backpack program is a wonderful success. We stuff them with soap, towels, toothpaste, uh, kind of necessary things for people. We didn't know how to approach them, to say to them, you know, if you need anything, you know, please come in. You know, so we, we needed sort of like an icebreaker type of thing. So we thought we heard about, you know, we came across the survival packs that other people give out. If we could put together a backpack that had several items in it, along with it, a list of services around that particular zip code that we were, the, the homeless people were, that we would be able to speak to them about the services that we provided. Miguel is grateful for the outreach of Chicago Vincentians. Somos personas desamparadas, no tenemos trabajo por el momento. Me dijeron, ve a este sitio, ahí te van a ayudar. Y yo llegué y me brindaron ayuda, yo me siento muy contento, muy agradable. Seeing the face of Christ in those who are suffering and deprived is at the core of Vincentian spirituality. If we're able to go to them and say, okay, here's some food, here's a backpack, you know, you are able to connect. And that connection for myself as a Vincentian has been very enlightening and rewarding and it has allowed me to grow spiritually. Vincentian Bill Susi says the society's essential element of service is to establish a personal contact between its members and those who suffer which we often see in the person-to-person -person visits in homes or on the streets. The spiritual aspect is key for any of us that are working with those, our neighbors in need. So it, it's the centerpiece. We're there to just bring them love, bring them prayers, and, and hopefully some hope, and, and help them with, yes, their rent and their material need as well. Our neighbors affect our livelihood, and if, if we don't work together, we don't make a better neighborhood. Down the street, there is somebody who really needs to know that you're around and that you are able to help them. Home visits are the essential activity of the society, be it visiting people in their homes, motels, prisons, the woods, or the streets. Anywhere people are hurting and in need of some material help and Christ's love. Home visiting is, is, is somewhat unique to the society. I don't know if we're the only ones that do that, but nevertheless, that's where we really are boots on the ground. We really see what, what's going on with people. We really care for them. Like I said, we're, we feel like Christ is sitting across from us when we're there. Darnell Pippen appreciates that Vincentians reach out to people where they are. It was very hard for us because our family looked at us as outcasts. For you guys to come out here to help us, it's very like so much a blessing because you don't have that everywhere you look. Vincentians regularly help with immediate needs, such as food, clothing, and shelter. An important part of the Vincentian charism is to help people help themselves. The Vincentian values is, first of all, to give immediate assistance to somebody. Then, after we do that, after we give them something to eat, after we give them the very immediate necessity, like water, a bottle of cold water, then from there, we try to help them help themselves. Pam has seen her spirituality grow through interactions with her brothers and sisters. St. Vincent de Paul Society sort of like gave meaning to, to what I do. So for me, this sort of like really did put me front and center with the people. 
it made me realize that I have a lot more to be grateful for. That that the Lord has given me a lot more than I realized. And that I have a lot more to give even. Pam and her fellow Vincentians enjoy making a difference in the community. They have found that the society gives them the chance to live their Catholic faith, and they end up receiving more than they give. For Our Faith in Action, Today's Society of St. Vincent de Paul, I'm Michelle Wargo.